This is gonna like fuck me up. Today, we're gonna be reviewing Sam Adams' Sweater Weather Variety Pack. Yes. And we got some pizza, cause beer and pizza, good. Hang out, eat some fucking pizza, drink some beer, and do a review yeah. on this. A quasi review on this beer. thing. Yeah. All right, so let's read a little bit about Boston. Four ingredients painstakingly chosen. Every year we travel to Bavaria to hand select. What the fuck? Hallertau. This is very German. Hallertau knuckle for all hops. In the high American plains for the finest two row summer barley. We cultivate our own lager yeast and I personally sample every batch. All our hard work goes into brewing this distinctly flavorful and complex beer for you. Cheers. Jim Cock, founder and brewer. God. Yeah, that's his name. Eli. I thought your name was Samuel Adams, you fucking fraud. <laughs> Let's get into this shit then. I like got like a sting at first and then like a nice. Nice. I, like nice to beer I like the finish after taste. I don't really like when it yeah. first goes in the mouth, though. But I like it. This is probably actually one of my favorite. I guess you'd call it middle. Just a nice beer. Mid tier? Yeah. Dude, hmm? I got high on the weekend. And I was trying to edit, and I ended up <laughs> sitting there watching videos of <laughs> crash test. <laughs> I don't even know how I got there. All right. Well, that was tasty. Yeah. I didn't like that one very much. It's very, very strong, hoppy yeah, it's flavor. A very strong start. <laughs> Cleanse the palate. You ready for number two? Yep. Octoberfest. Octoberfest. Malt brings so much to a great beer. That's why we developed a unique malt blend to provide a robust color and smooth, rich flavor. Like you, we look forward to this tradition every year. Tim Cock, or Jim Cock, whichever it is. And slightly more alcohol than the last one. Oh, yeah, I wanted to do that, I forgot. Okay, so Samuel Adams Boston Lager weighs in at 5% ABV. Oktoberfest, hearty and smooth, weighs in at 5.3%. Yeah, I like that. I would classify this like in the same group as Killian's. It's like a rich, nice flavor, but it's not too much. It's like just... It's flavorful, but it's also nice and smooth. I used to drink like all the time. I'm glad I don't drink all that much anymore. Me too. I used to drink like every night. How old are you, 22? Yeah, it's, it's, it's fucking stupid. <laughs> I was a fucking alcoholic before I was even legal to drink, and then now that I'm legal to drink, I don't even like to drink that much. When I was 22, I was getting fucked up like every single night of the week. Yeah. And going to work hungover and stuff. <laughs> Not a good thing. I still kind of like whiskey, but I don't drink it because I know if I do, I'll more, and then I'll get way too drunk. It's like we're giving like an anti-alcohol speech to kids while we're drinking alcohol. <laughs> it balances out, man. Probably in the running for one of my favorite beers is Substance Limited Edition. <laughs> 30 pack of hams for $11. Damn, that's <laughs> like... I do the math on that real quick. That's cheap as fuck. It's 36 cents per can. <laughs> 36 point. Six, 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 three, 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 seven, six. Something like that. I'm drunk. Ah. I hope this pumpkin isn't, isn't bullshit. Next up, we got 
Samuel Adams, Jacko Pumpkin Ale. <coughs> Perfect fall beer. Cinnamon and nutmeg aromas. Recall memories of freshly baked pumpkin pie. It has the ideal balance of seasonal spices with a crisp refreshing, refreshing, refreshing finish. This pumpkin ale pairs perfectly with the transition of summer into cooler days and nights. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that sounds interesting. I thought it'd just be like straight pumpkin. But pumpkin right. spice. Oh, and this one weighs in at 4.4. <laughs> Fucking lightweight. And Fallout, I get a bowl of squirrel stew. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's fucking bullshit? What's that? Like the economy in Fallout doesn't make any sense because it's like in Fallout 4, there's this robot that makes bowls and noodles and he charges you like 21 caps for a bowl and noodles. For noodles? Yeah. It's like... But you can buy like a fucking yeah. iguana for like three I'll make, caps or something. I can, and then I can, the yeah, I can go buy like a whole Brahmin steak. It's like, dude, why? <laughs> I could buy a whole Brahmin. <laughs> Here's 20 caps. Give me that fucking cow. <laughs> I made a cocktail from Fallout, and it was actually pretty good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What was it? Well, it wasn't exactly the same. Like, I had to improvise, obviously, because some of the ingredients don't actually exist. But oh, yeah. it was the Dirty Wastelander from Fallout 4. It, I looked it up online, and it was basically just whiskey and coke with, with uh, berries in it. It's pretty good. Oh. Dude. We stayed at this hotel and they have like a really, really, really fancy restaurant inside. Like you're supposed to dress up to be able to get in and shit. We went there, all right. We ordered a couple drinks. It was just some like some berry bourbon thing. It was a glass, a literal cup full of bourbon with like some crushed berries in it. <laughs> I got kind of fucked up. All right, let's give this a snippy. Oh yeah, that smells like pumpkin pie. I'm a cherry pie guy. It tastes like fucking cinnamon. Yeah, straight cinnamon. It doesn't even taste like beer. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I like, kind of like this at first, but now it's getting too much. Do they even sell this in a six pack or did they just throw, it in, the, <laughs> throw it in the variety pack as like a filler? They're like, oh, we did Oktoberfest and we put way too much fucking cinnamon in there. And they're like, oh, we can, we can roll with it. We can sell it. Put a different label on there. Literally like 50 people subscribe what to if, our channel. Yeah, that's still they. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> it's like, I could be in a wheelchair right now. You wouldn't even know. <laughs> We're actually time travelers. Yeah. What actually yeah. happened is we were originally from the year 2200 <coughs> or something like that. And then we came back to this time and made videos and moved further back and now we're already dead. I know that because I did it and I told him that I did it so he knows it too. And then it just went to shit real fast. <laughs> It tastes like when somebody takes a big shit in your bathroom in the time, <laughs> and then they like gas the whole place out with air freshener and then you walk in there. That, that's actually surprisingly accurate. That's what it tastes like. <laughs> in the world of Fallout, would this cap be worth anything? Probably not. Damn it! They use Nuka Cola caps, so like basically Coke caps. Such an interesting form of currency. Say my jacket is worth two caps. Yeah. Cause like it's still the currency is still. <coughs> Ooh, there has to be some caps. baseline of what something's worth. <clears throat> I guess. Otherwise, it's a bad game. It doesn't make any sense. I also think <laughs> it's like a commentary on how even though money isn't worth anything anymore, the people are still bound to a money system. And like your government. Cause like the whole game is like basically a commentary on like all the consumerism and shit from the 50s and 60s and like the Cold War and all that. So it's like there's this portal and you go through, and you know who Shia Gorath is? drink 
freaking Emor, man. We got Holy you. fuck, this is the worst one, too. What do you mean? It's 5.8. Oh, damn. It's almost 6%. <laughs> Fist buyer. Fist buyer, smooth lager. Fist buyer. Fist buyer. The fest in fest beer means the barley and hops have been gathered and our growers have their first moment to celebrate another successful harvest. What the fucking... Oh, it's a comma. I thought that was... Okay, anyway. <laughs> what do they reach for? Fest beer. A little more malty, a little more hoppy. Brew to relax and enjoy. All right, let's take a sniffy. <clears throat> sure. Hmm. It honestly just tastes like... Yeah, this. it just tastes like that, just <laughs> a little more hoppy, but yeah. not quite, not really that like much what more. It, it said it was a little more hoppy, a little more malty. It's basically just like a stronger yeah. version of Oktoberfest. Yeah. I'm so glad I don't drink anymore, <laughs> as I just drank four beers. All right, brother. So, now that we've drank all these, tried them out. We're gonna rank them worst to best. Yep. All right. Pick your the one you think was the worst. I didn't hate any of them, but this is probably the worst one because it didn't really taste like yeah. beer. Jacko pumpkin ale. And it wasn't terrible, but and I got sick of it like halfway through the bottle. <laughs> For a beer, I don't think it was good. Yep. Yeah. What is your second? Didn't like the Boston Lager that much. Had good aftertaste and nice, you know, finish like you called it. But I didn't like it was way too hoppy. Honestly, I love Boston Lager, but I think I'm also gonna have to place it second to last just because the next two they literally are like the same beer. Yeah, and they're both pretty good. So then I'm gonna have to go I would put Oktoberfest at first. Well, look at that. Because we're exactly the fucking same. <laughs> well, I mean, the reason I put Oktoberfest over Fest yeah. Buyer is because, like, it's basically the same beer. This one just has a little richer flavor, but it is a higher percentage of alcohol, though. So if I'm drinking a beer, I would rather have, like, the... The lower person yeah. alcohol, I guess. And like it's, I don't know. This one just is like perfect. I'm not really considering the alcohol content. I'm just considering, I think it's smoother. Yeah. I like smooth beers. I think Oktoberfest is perfect. And then the Fest buyer is just like too much of a good thing. Perfect, but they tweaked it a little bit. So no. it's not it's perfect not, anymore. Yeah. It's just they like a little They fixed something that wasn't broke. Yeah, exactly. Where the Scotsman duo? Oh, I'm Spider Watch We met. Kinda. Sorta. Maybe. It's October. It's almost Halloween. You probably won't see this till like fucking yeah. after the new year or some yeah. crazy shit. Yeah. It'll really get you. Yeah. That's a good thing. I'm like drinking poison. I'm poison so hard for me to do math. I like you. I don't want to, but I do. Jack and Lemon. You want a Jack and Lemon? Yeah. Did you just try to let me borrow my own game? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I love Boston. I'm a limited edition, so I was like, well, I'm gonna try that. Feast buyer. I'm gonna sound angry. This is true. Hey, motherfucker. Stay back. Ah! More! Give me more! It's good to not drink a lot. <laughs> so fuck you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs>